give me your top five moments uh working at fat beats Woof. um top five moments uh number one would be gangstar in store mm-hmm. um which was actually our biggest in store we did two gangstar in stores and they were both mine around the block um so gangstar in store number one best time there number two would be eminem in store which was very similar to the gangstar it might match it in terms of people that came out and what was a little bit more interesting for the eminem one was that at that time he had just <laughs> dropped the single for my name is so the album was like i think the album might, might have just been coming out but like it was the single that was in the MTV rotation. So like the line was bananas, you know what I'm saying? It's like with Gangstar, it's more expected because they're legendary, you know, that stuff. But Eminem right. was like, you could see that like he was about to be out of here. Um, so that was number two. Um, what's some other good times at Fat Beats? Uh, n- not even a public thing, but we used to do uh, Fat Beats Christmas parties there. You know, we'd be closed to the public and we would, you know, be the staff and it would be invited guests only. So we'd invite artists down. We'd invite uh, label reps and people we were, we were cool with. And we would just, you know, there'd be like food, drinks, weed and a plethora of us just DJing, just getting up there and, you know, taking turns spinning and stuff like that. So those those Christmas parties definitely goes up there. And shout out to Fidge, who used to work there and, and, and for most of them cooked all the food for them banging mm. um what's some other great times in there uh, uh uh um just not one particular time but I'll, I'll use this as an example of what was just so great there was the actual networking of never knowing who you're going to see come into the store now we expect you know the hip-hop people to come in there but i remember times where we had like d'angelo came in and was like you know shopping through like the soul reissues and stuff like that um, you know, Michael Rappaport used to come in there and like, you know, you know, buy stuff. Um, uh, Annabella Shiora, the actress, you know, used to come in there. You know, it's like just seeing just New York personalities, you know, what I'm saying that would just, you know, be stopping by that Kid Rock stopped in there mm-hmm. on his way to doing MTV's New Year's Eve oh, party, wow. came in to buy some records and then went to go do the thing. It's like, so <laughs> That's cool. it was just, you know, it's always crazy when you see how far your reach goes, you know what I'm saying? And like that people are aware of what you're doing and, you know, and, and, and fat beats. So that as one whole of just like, you know, that's a, a great moment of just seeing like how it touched non hip hop people's, you know, lives. Um, what else? Uh, the grand opening at the, um, the second location, which most people know of, uh, which was where the Kanye West footage is from when Al Tariq came through and brought him, he was just Al's man that just came that day and he got on the mic. And I didn't, none of us knew that until maybe five years ago when I uh, came across the footage and was like, Oh, wait a minute. He was there that day. <laughs> wow. So that, that, that whole day was crazy. Just everyone that came through that day was, was, was great. Um, and then if I had to say one last one, I would probably say um, the final day. The final day of Fat Beats, we had the whole week was just a send off and it was a great turnout. But the last day on that Saturday, it was so crowded out front that the cops kept rolling up and like, you know, like, yo, what are you all doing? And it's like, and I, we, you know, explain to them and they they actually put up with us. You know, we did what we had to do to, to deal with them, but uh, they let us have the day. And there are people that waited in front of Fat Beats the whole day before they could come in because we packed it. We packed up like within an hour of the store opening. So if you came after that first hour, you had to wait out front. And so people were just enjoying what they heard from upstairs from the windows wow. and they waited the whole day. And then at, gradually as a few people would leave, we'd let a few people up, but there was people that waited the whole day from like one o'clock until like 9 PM.